Isn't that what is really happening today, both in Europe and perhaps in other parts of the world, this very intense clash between ostensibly secular and ostensibly religious worldviews? Yes. I, uh, I would not call uh, what is happening now the Dark Ages. There are also some people say that it is a repeat of the 1930s in Europe. Um, it's not true, uh, because uh, Europe is in a different place. Uh, the Jewish people are in a totally different place. The, today there's the state of Israel. It used to be that when Jews wanted to leave, wanted to flee Europe, they had nowhere to go. Most countries were close to them. But many uh, Jewish, uh, Jews are leaving Europe. Many Jews are leaving France, for example, for uh, Great Britain. As right, as I know. right. So, but uh, something uh, I said yesterday on Israeli radio, I'm going to repeat this now. When, you sp when I speak to people from Paris, for example, who decided to emigrate, whether to Israel or to London or to Montreal, mm -hmm. and ask them, why are you emigrating? And the answer I'm getting is, I don't see a future for our children here. When people left in the 1930s Europe, they didn't emigrate because they didn't see a future for their children. They did not see a future for themselves. Mm -hmm. So it is different. Now, coming back to your uh, question of the clash between the secular post-Christian Europe and the new uh, immigration wave, which is essentially religious, yes, this is what, exactly what is happening. There is a clash of civilizations. And uh, we, the Jews, we are in the middle of this clash of civilizations. On one side is what happened in Paris and Brussels, and uh, is, uh, that children who walk with the kippah in the mm -hmm. streets in Paris are being attacked. On the other side, what we have, we have the counteraction of old Europe. We have the laws against uh, limiting religious freedom in Switzerland against the minorites, mm -hmm. in France against the burqa, mm -hmm. uh, the attempted law in Germany against circumcision, the attempted law in Holland and in Poland against uh, halal or kosher meat. So this is the reaction of, uh, of old Europe against uh, this new wave of religious expression. So essentially what you're saying is that in these both you're together with uh, both Muslims uh, yes, yes, yes. and people of other and, and, and we see ourselves together f fighting together with uh, our Muslim brothers who, are, who want a free Europe, who want a peaceful Europe, who want to uh, integrate like our forefathers integrated in Western Europe 120 years ago, and they are our natural allies. 